select a mission. Two engineers are being held in the observation post southwest of Ngumba Industrial Zone. Boss, your mission is to rescue them. The targets are civilians, one male, one female. They were dispatched to the area by an international health organization, but disappeared shortly after. Extract the two targets and help them escape the country. Target 
Extraction confirmed. Now extract the remaining target. signs of anything, but we'll monitor them just the same. If they had access to the Devil's House, I doubt they were sent there by some health organization. Cypher used them, and would have eliminated them eventually, but we'll protect them here. They've agreed to that. After all, we help them out of the country as promised. The mission's complete. But boss, they've been behind the curtains at Ngumba. They examine the patients there nearly every day. They told us the patients were being made to listen to voices on tape. But the male target added something interesting. He said he doesn't know what was on the tapes because there was no English version. Of all the voices that were shoved down those people's throats, English wasn't one of them. Contract comes from the Embelli rebel militants. That's right. That general's fighters. Recently, one of their child soldier platoons staged an insurrection and split from the main group. The thing is, they took a hostage with them. The General's brother is number two. The contract is to extract both that prisoner and the leader of the Renegade Platoon. The message reads, I love my brother. You must bring him back to me alive. It also says this about the leader of the child soldiers. He is an excellent soldier. I want to persuade him to rejoin the ranks of the righteous. Sounds a little too forgiving for the man who ordered those kids dead at the mine. I wonder... I wonder what kind of persuasion the General has in store. Unit this With that in mind, here are your objectives. First, rescue and return the General's number two as requested. Second, extract the Renegade leader, and we'll keep him at Mother Base. In other words, extract both targets out of the region. Good luck, boss. Mission accepted. Your mission objectives are to extract the child soldier's commander and their captive, the General's number two. This child soldier platoon decided to break away from the Mbeli militants. They took the number two captive and have occupied an abandoned village. Start by checking that location on your map. Boss, the child soldiers will treat you as an enemy, but they're just kids. See that they don't get hurt. We placed the White Mamba and the rest of his unit in the staff living quarters. How's that going? It's a disaster, but what else can we do? We've taken away his weapons and banned him from using his nom de guerre. Apparently his real name is Eli. He must feel like we stripped him of his whole identity. We'll let things simmer down. I put a guard on him for now. Still the question is, who is he? 
Where did he come from? And how has he survived? He's still not talking. No. He won't say a word about himself. But you know, it looks like he speaks English. One of the deck crew called out to him in English, and he said something back. He just lost it all of a sudden, started mouthing off at the guy, in perfect English. He wasn't stringing together words he picked up somewhere. So English is his mother tongue. He could be from the east, or the south, or maybe even further north or south. English is well established. Reconnaissance is best conducted from high vantage points. I've marked a good spot on your map. Take a look at your iDroid. So just speaking English doesn't help us figure out where he comes from. Could even be from off-continent. Right. In any case, we'll keep an eye on him. If we learn anything else, I'll be sure to let you know. Security's pretty light. There are fewer kids around than our intel suggested. Maybe they sent some out on patrol. There he is. The map the has been updated. Extract him. The map has been updated. to extract the general's number two. Detected. The map has been updated. Support helicopter Roger. requested. Hmm. <laughs> 
Those are the symptoms of the infection on Mother Base. The blisters on the body were full of tiny worms. Parasite larvae, most likely. But we couldn't find any adults. It doesn't seem to mature in the body, like a sparganum. We don't know the root of infection, or what causes symptoms to develop. Boss, do you remember seeing these symptoms before? The bodies floating around in the oil facility? The bedridden test subjects at the Devil's House? This epidemic looks just like what we've seen on our hunt for Cypher. So this is the weapon of mass destruction Cypher was working on in Africa. Boss, the situation is urgent. We need to quarantine the infected and contain the pathogen. Priority now is to prevent more casualties. But the problem is, how do we tell who's infected? During the incubation period, we have no way of knowing who's clean. You'll have to try and guess who's infected before they go symptomatic and quarantine them. And it'd be easy if we just knew the route or vector of the infection. From now on, if you even suspect a staff member's infected, use your iDroid to order them into quarantine. Given the situation, the men won't submit to quarantine just because I or the medical team tell them to. But they will listen to you. Of course, it's just a temporary measure until we find a permanent solution. But at least they'd be in solitary isolation so they won't infect each other and we get the mental care they need. If we do nothing, we'll only lose more people. We have no choice. Boss, open your eye droid. Development project has been added. I'll explain how to quarantine staff members suspected of infection. Look closely. Those are the symptoms of the infection on Mother Base. The blisters on the body were full of tiny worms. Parasite larvae, most likely. But we couldn't find any adults. It doesn't seem to mature in the body, like a sparganum. We don't know the root of infection, or what causes symptoms to develop. The infection rate, along with the number of dead, are both on the rise. If we don't find the cause, and soon. Fox, do you remember seeing these symptoms before? The bodies floating around in the oil facility? The bedridden test subjects at the Devil's House? This epidemic looks just like what we've seen on our hunt for Cypher. It could be a counterplay by Skullface. That's insane. You mean they weaponize parasites? Parasites as weapons. That definitely falls under the Biological Weapons Convention. But it's something the world would never see coming. And no one's ever developed a vaccine for parasites. So this is the weapon of mass destruction Cypher was working on in Africa? It may be. But if it is, how do the Yellow Cake and Walker Gears fit in? There must be something bigger we're not seeing. Anyway, our priority now is to prevent more casualties. The medical team is studying the infection. But we can't treat anyone until we know the root cause. All we can do right now is halt the spread of infection. Remember before, boss, when Quiet attacked one of our guys on Mother Base, stuck a knife in his mouth. He's one of the very few soldiers who've had contact with her recently. Close contact. I don't think it's a coincidence that he was among those who became symptomatic pretty early on in this epidemic. Saliva and blood spatter. An open wound. Mucosal infection. Whatever is causing this got inside him then. Miller, that is a baseless accusation. 
The source of the infection is quiet. Everyone suspects her. We don't know that. And we've come across these symptoms before. The bodies in the water at the oil field facility. Those sick people in the beds at the Devil's House. They're identical to what we've seen while we've been after Cypher. The infection could have come from elsewhere. But at the very least, she does know something. <sighs> it's not like she's gonna talk. No, not through words, anyway. But what about her actions? Quiet held a knife to that soldier back then, before he became symptomatic. There must have been a reason for that. A reason for shoving a knife down the throat of one of our men. What if she's capable of identifying who's infected? What if she was trying to stop the infection but couldn't communicate that to us? The answer to that, the source of the infection, might be in the mouths of the infected. You think there's some kind of clue in their mouths? I don't know. But maybe there's something about the mouths of those who've become symptomatic, something in common. Something their mouths have in common. Forget it. We can't trust her. Even if she can spot the infected, I don't want her help. I understand how you feel. But this is something to go on. Can't you see it's just like I said? Bringing her here was a big mistake. Quiet is gonna be the end of us. Stand down. You've got zero proof. Try to keep an open mind on this, boss. There has to be a way to identify who's infected. Boss, there's a target on the run somewhere on the Savannah. Your job is to find and eliminate him. He's a logistics officer for the PF known as Rogue Coyote. On the side, however, he colluded with the Buta regime, abducting people from Mbeli villages and supplying them as slave labor. That's right. He's a human trafficker. His victims ended up all over the place. Brothels, black market, organ trade, diamond mines. And he was the one who sent Shibani and the other kids to the Devil's House. But then an Mbeli rebel group finally added him to their hit list. The target decided it was time to quit, and now he's trying to leave the country. If he makes it back to his country, he'll be no more than a civilian, and he'll avoid facing a court-martial. Like so many other war biz junkies. I'll bet he plans on enjoying a new live finance with his blood money. The client's order is to take him out. How you go about that is up to you, boss.